Greetings, greetings everybody. Dan here. It is Wednesday and uh, I ran a little contest. I announced it last week and the contest ended yesterday, technically at midnight. And now it is time to choose the winner of our little contest. I had uh, about 44 people, 45 people who uh, submitted a response um, to the question I'd asked. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip up all these names, going to put them into this here red bucket, and we're going to pick a, uh, uh, three names at random. Um, the terms of the contest were that uh, if you submitted a video response that you would have a two to one shot at winning. So there are a couple people who are going to be put into the basket twice. So while I'm sitting here cutting up these entries, I figured we'd just chat a little bit about my favorite topic, which is storage auctions. I, um, I posted a video the other day that purposefully was meant to be a little controversial where I asked if the end of storage auctions was near because I spoke with a facility recently that was, in a, that was negotiating directly with um, defaulted tenants. Now, you know, of course I don't think that some uh, storage facilities, just because some storage facilities choose to negotiate directly with tenants, I certainly don't think that that spells the end of uh, storage auctions. But the storage auction game, I think, is going through some changes because of the popularity brought to these auctions based on a number of t TV shows that are, that are out these days. Um, whereas, you know, you had pretty straightforward auctions in the past. I'm finding that, uh, well, you know, I found in, in this one example that some storage facilities are uh, negotiating directly with tenants. I've heard of horror stories from people who say they've gone to auctions and it looks like the, the bin or the units have been completely gone through with just knickknacks and crapola left behind, which kind of indicates that the storage facility manager or maybe even the uh, auctioneer had um, gone through the units to take out the good stuff. I remember, you know, watching one show on TV. I think the name of the show is... Um, Auction Wars, there's Auction Hunters, there's Storage Wars, and then there was another show I was watching, I think it's called Auction Wars, where the unit was actually rigged, and when they unlocked the door and opened it, and opened up the, uh, and opened it up, opened up the door, it actually detonated a uh, explosive. You know, I don't think it was at, like a stick of dynamite or anything, it may have been the equivalent of an M80, but, you know, if, if that was not staged, if that was filmed in real time, it kind of says that, uh, you know, somebody purposely rented that unit, rigged it up with a bomb, didn't pay the, the, uh, the um, uh, rent, specifically to uh, shock and surprise those who show up for a storage unit with this, you know, with this explosive going off. So, you know, it's, it's just really wacky. And then you see some of the crap that takes place on Storage Wars where Barry, who I love, Barry Weiss, he's a very funny guy, he shows up with psychics. He showed up with that weirdo friend of his from Boston. If you saw that episode, the guy's all decked out in black leather and studs. and I don't know. Just um, It's kind of uh, maybe a circus atmosphere is, is, is on display in some of these shows. But, you know, anyway, the bottom line is I, I don't think that the storage auction is going anywhere. It's just some facilities are handling dif differently. Okay, so here's the bucket. Here's all the names clipped up. Going to put those into the bucket. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose three winners. Now, whatever name I pull out of the hat first gets their choice of one of the three prizes. We will email you each winner and give you, uh, you know, the first winner gets first crack at the three prizes. Second uh, name I pull will get um, uh, a crack at the remaining two prizes. And the third name I pull will, um, you know, get the, the third prize. Okay, so here we go. First name out of the bucket is Tatmom43. All right, Tatmom43, I'm going to put a number one next to your name. You get the first choice of uh, prizes. Second name I pull out of the bucket is... This is Unreal1. All right, This is Unreal1. I'll put a little two next to your name. And the third name I pull out of the bucket is... 
the peanut butter. I love that name, the peanut butter. Butter being spelled B-U-D-D-E-R. All right, so you got a number three. Now, I am going to pull one last name out of the bucket, and this is going to be a um, contingent winner. Uh, just in case we have trouble contacting any one of these three people, we'll have a, you know, a, a backup. And that would be niches to profit. So niches to profit. If we do are not able to contact one of our three winners, we will contact you as a supplemental winner. Okay, folks, that's it. I'd like to thank everybody for having joined my contest. Going to be running some additional contests in the future, so please stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber to my video, uh, I'm sorry, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe now because I want you to be notified of when I run these contests. We'll be giving away some great prizes in the future. I have some really interesting things coming up in the next couple of weeks. So again, if you're not a subscriber, please do so that you can be notified of when my new videos are out. i got some great things coming up for you. That's it. My name is Dan. I love all you guys. Thank you very much for being active on my channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm out.